thought that I would make a video today for you and show you how to make some of the flower bowls. And I just found these flowers at Hobby Lobby and they were a dollar and they came on this crazy clip. But what I did is I just pulled the clip off and then I pulled this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it kind of holds the shape of it and pull my flower off. Oops, there's another one. Let's see. Pull this little one off. If I can get it. There we go. And then pull all of those off. And I don't like to use this one that comes on it because I think it's kind of messy and I think if it was for maybe an older kid, it would be fine. But for my daughter, it's a little messy. And then you could use um, a hot glue gun, but I'm just going to use this fabric tack, or fabric tack, I think that's what it's called. And I'm just going to take each of my layers, do them upside down, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around that. And then I, when I did my other one, I actually kind of offset my petals just a little bit. And then I just keep doing that. that dry for a second. I just got a package of these at Michael's and they're the little clips that you can see. Okay, I've got my ribbon and um, I just cut a length of it and um, what we're going to do, and again you could probably use hot glue gun for it and it would probably work just as good or maybe better. I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of it, and I'm actually going to let's see, figure out which side I want down. I'm going to put some on the inside, and then I'm going to actually wrap it around the metal part. And it would probably be way easier if I did this on my desk, but again, my desk is super, super messy. Just gonna wrap that around. I shouldn't have done that with my finger because now that's all messy. And I'm going to kind of actually push it inside of that. And then glue it down the front. Okay, we'll put this back part on our flower. So I'm going to put glue on that. I'm going to take my flower and I'm just going to lay it on there. And this is the flat side down that I did. And I'm going to kind of bend it just because I think it makes it easier. And then you've got that. Oops got that like that they just put it in their hair and on the top I think there's probably lots of ways you could finish it and I don't have any of the cute little jewels but I've seen some of the cute little like sparkly jewels but I am just gonna use a button and maybe I said it right I was trying not to say it like I normally say it because it's kind of funny <laughs> So I'm just going to put the button on the top and let it dry and then I'll give it to my daughter and she will be super excited because she loves wearing them in her hair. And then I was also, while I was thinking about it, I was thinking you could probably use the flowers like in the scrapbook section, not the like, papery ones, and now I can't reach them, not the papery ones, but like the ones that are a little bit more fabric-y. And you could probably use them to do 
like if you didn't want really big ones, I'm sure you could find any kind because you get them in all the little different sizes. And then I've seen some really cute ones where they've put them on bobby pins. So I'm going to try that. Okay, so these are some of my scrapbooking flowers that I have. And um, I remember that I bought these little uh, hair clips that I was going to learn how or figure out how to attach them to. And I thought, oh, I could probably figure that out. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm just kind of figuring this out for you while I do it. And I'm going to do the same thing. Try not to use as much glue as I did before. And then just for fun, I'm going to actually use a brad like I normally would for scrapbooking. Let's see if we can get it through there. It's sticking already to it. Okay. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll do this. Let's see, because it's got this little crazy hole in it. I think otherwise you could just put some fabric through it or just take some thread and kind of sew it on. I am going to use my brad to attach it. There you go. That's another option to do. And you could do it the same thing on the, like the one I did before. We'll have this be as a bonus. But I'm sure you could just do this little bit of a flower with the fabric on this kind of a pin too. So there's a couple options. You can figure out your own little ways to do it. And so there you go. Hope that helps.